guys, welcome back to the shop today. I want to build a storage unit for my sanders and all the sandpaper that I have. Now like some of my other stuff, I want to make it mobile. I want to put a French cleat system on the back of it and I think that putting it over here on the wall in between some of these 2x4s is a great spot for it. The main construction is going to be out of a 1x8 with some quarter inch plywood. Let's go ahead and get building. Now instead of having my sanders stacked on top of each other and creating a big tall system, I'm going to have these sitting side by side. These will fit in a 14 inch area and then I'll be able to put the sandpaper on top. For the square sander, I can put the sandpaper on this side. For the round one, I can put it on this side. And then I can even include some flat sheets up on top. So to begin with, I'm going to be cutting the tops and the side of this whole unit. Now I was able to get the two rabbits on the outside using a moving filister, but I have a dado in the middle that I have to create. And the way I'm going to be doing that is by using this fence, a clamp, and a skewed rabbit plane. And I can just take it, and at first you have to start slow, that way it doesn't start swimming all over. But then after you get a groove in, now I'm only going halfway across on both sides. I went across at first and was able to get the groove and I used a backer board. So as you can see that I've already had this piece mounted and lined up with that. And this created a spot so I didn't get any tear out on the back side. But now after I got my groove, I would come in halfway and I flipped the board around and went the other halfway. So now this three quarter inch dado will fit this perfect. So now we're moving on to creating all the little dados for the little shells for all the sandpaper and to do that I've got 16 little quarter inch grooves that I have to put in here and I don't want to do them all by hand so I've got a quarter inch bit here in my router and I'm just gonna go through each pass on both the sides and then I'll bring the middle in. I'm going to be using this band clamp right off the bat just to hold everything together and then I'm going to be coming back with a couple of different clamps and getting this all clamped up. So now we got it in here in the clamps. I ended up having to trim this down a little bit. This is not glued in, it's just put in right now. I wanted to see how it fit, but everything's nice and tight. I had some bow to it, which is why this was longer, and I had to trim it. It's because I ended up flattening the two sides and also the top and making sure that everything was nice and squared up. But now it's in clamps and we shall wait. Now that the box is out of the clamps, I can go ahead and start creating the little slides for all the sandpaper to sit on. Now I've got enough for like a 60, 80, 120, 220, 320 grit or around something like that. Whatever I feel like for each style of the sanders. So what I'm going to be using is some of this little quarter inch plywood that I picked up. And I've got my sections marked out for the depth. Now I've got to draw a line all the way across and that's how wide each piece is going to be. So after getting all of the little sliding shelves in, one thing I don't like about this cabinet is that you can see the dados from the front. 
So what I've done is ripped up the rest of that little quarter inch plywood and I've made little face frames out of it all so that everything is covered up and it'll also help prevent the little slides from actually coming out. All right guys, well that's it. Here is the sander organizer that I came up with. It holds both my square and my random orbital sander. And I have plenty of storage for multiple types of sandpaper. And even the top can hold some of the rolls of sandpaper I have. And the little, the little catch bags that, the, that never seem to really work anyway. So they can rest up here on top. And if I need to, I can build some little shelves even higher up and hold sheet paper. So this corner is gonna be a nice addition for just the sanding organizer and hold all that stuff. I didn't do a French cleat system. When I started thinking about it, when am I really gonna take it somewhere? So what I ended up doing was just drilling from the outside of these two by fours into the box. The box is filled in there. When I put it up there, it was so tight that it wouldn't even slide down or up or anything like that. So I was just able to drill right from the side and mount it that way. I really like the look of the face frame that I added on there and it hides the dados and the little shelves. They do slide back and forth a little bit, but they don't go anywhere. The back it has the the side wall of the outside of the building so they won't fall out the back. And I really like the color of it, the contrasting color. It's got the nice dark face frame and the little lighter of the box and then the shelves are really white and they really stand out and show off. Thanks for joining me on today's build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, welcome and hit that subscribe button so you guys can see more woodworking and other DIY videos. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.